MVP Stephen Curry is officially back, and you're about to find out the main reason why. The Warriors just erased the 22-point second-half deficit to stun the typical lead-blowing LA Clippers 115-105. It's early, but Golden State's now 5-4, good enough for fifth in the tightly-packed West, and they had a pretty brutal schedule to start this season with six games against the full-strength Nets, Bucks, Clippers, and Blazers. With how he's gone off so far, the former back-to-back -back league MVP Stephen Curry seems to have a great chance to add his third trophy in 2021. He went for 38 points on Friday, his fifth 30-point game already, which lifted his season scoring average to 30 and a half, the second best mark in the NBA behind Bradley Beal. Steph hit nine of his 14 triples, and he was the old 2016-esque Curry in closing time, repeatedly pulling deep-range daggers out of his bag to seal the victory. Curry's incredibly bounced back after missing a year of basketball with wrist surgery and has somehow taken his already all-time great off-the-dribble three-point shooting to the next level in 2021. The chemistry Curry's developing with a proven scorer in Andrew Wiggins has shown itself to be a formidable threat to opposing defenses. You're about to hear more on both the chemistry between those two and other factors leading to Steph's dominance, but before that, I know I haven't stayed consistent with this, but it's a new day now, and I'm going to be posting four to eight minute breakdown videos like this every day. So if you're enjoying and want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. That's the best way to support this content. Appreciate you. The chef wasn't only saucing it up on the perimeter and hitting bombs from behind the arc in his beastly Friday night outing against the Clippers, but he also had 11 dimes, none of which were more impressive than this one. Zubats. Steph finds the open man, Lee all alone in the corner, got it! From the left hash all the way to the right corner with the left hand. I mean, the combination of creativity, awareness, and just pure passing skill right there was on full display. And really it was for the entire night for Stefan as he was tearing through the Clippers defense at a legitimately unstoppable pace. I mean, the Clippers defenders are doing their best out there. Patrick Beverly, Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, these are reputable defenders, and Curry's just going right through them. With how polished his finishing is around the bucket, picking whether to sag off him, guard the three-point line, or play him for the pass is an overwhelming decision for defenders. I know Curry's night from start to finish was absolutely sick, but before delving any further into this, I have to give respect to the Warrior bench who all came through. They were in the positives in terms of plus minus, and they cut into the Clippers' lead just in time for Curry to re-enter for the second half of the fourth quarter and close it out. The Warriors outscored Los Angeles 34-18 over the final 12 minutes, but the key for Golden State over the course of the season is simply to tread water when Curry's on the bench. If the bench can actually be a boost, the Warriors are a serious problem. Aside from the bench, Andrew Wiggins was once again a plus factor, putting up 16 points on 5 of 10 shooting, including making 2 of 5 of his shots from 3. Wiggins is shooting just under 41% from 3 so far, a pretty good mark, and his ability to create offense has been a huge pressure release from Curry. Simultaneously, all the spacing Steph's providing is starting to benefit Wiggins as he continues to acclimate himself in the Warriors' championship winning system. Additionally, if Kelly Oubre finds his game, which looks positively bound for Europe at this point, I mean, he's bricking shots all over the place. I mean, the Warriors could have something brewing here if Kelly can pick up his game. He was an 18 point scorer last year. Draymond coming back has been a godsend. But still, all this comes down to Stephen Curry. After Friday night's win, he said, quote, they were sending bodies at me everywhere and you have to find that balance. I've been talking about it all year of taking what the defense gives you, making the right basketball play and trying to get everybody involved, but still being aggressive to score. It took a minute for it to click. If I can create shots and create momentum scoring the basketball, there's probably gonna be some more attention coming my way and they know I'm gonna try to make the right play at all times and get guys going, get guys opportunities. It's that fine balance of being reckless and over aggressive where you get yourself in trouble. I think I got a charge trying to take on all five guys in the early third quarter versus being smart with the ball, hunting for my shot, but also kind of reading the situation and being a bit more thoughtful around it. Then Curry said in a separate response, quote, obviously that falls on my responsibility to figure that out. 
unquote. Of course, it's a lot to ask of Curry to play in shot-hunting, borderline desperate mode for the entire game, let alone night after night, and ultimately that's probably unsustainable, but he can't be too far off from that kind of approach. When he does it, the Warriors are a legitimately dangerous team, a potential contender, and they're 5-0 so far this season when Curry scores at least 30 points. They're 0-4 when he doesn't. And while we tend to make basketball difficult in our micro-analysis of stats half the world doesn't even understand, the simple numbers I just mentioned tell the Warriors' tale. When Curry's the best player on the floor, they're good or at least competitive. When he isn't, they can look like a lottery team. There's your case for Stephen Curry being the 2021 MVP. But we are less than 10 games in, so let's not be a prisoner of the moment or anything. Not like that's what we do on this channel. But let me know your thoughts on Steph so far, and I'll respond to your comment. You're the best for sticking around. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.